Good morning. Today we are going to discuss about fourth chapter that is quadratic equations. So, that is quadratic equations. Now, let us try to understand what is quadratic equations. For that, we need to understand and we need to recall what do you mean by a quadratic polynomial. So, quadratic polynomial is a polynomial whose degree is equal to 2. And what is the standard form of a quadratic polynomial? P of x is equal to ax square plus bx plus c where a is not supposed to be 0 as well as b comma c both are real numbers. Now, ax square plus bx plus c is said to be a quadratic polynomial in terms of x and we learnt about quadratic polynomials in second chapter. Um, and now, what is the difference between a quadratic polynomial as well as a quadratic polynomial equation? Let us try to understand with one example. Okay? So, for example, I have taken x square plus 5x plus 6 is a second degree polynomial and taking one linear polynomial like x plus 5 is a linear polynomial. This is a second degree polynomial and this is a linear polynomial. In these two polynomials, let us consider x plus 5 for what value of the variable x, x plus 5 will become 0 that value of the variable is said to be 0 of this linear polynomial. So, for x is equal to negative 5, x plus 5 will become 0. So, that this negative 5 is said to be 0 of the polynomial. So, there is only one value of the variable which makes the polynomial 0, that only one value of the variable for this particular linear polynomial is said to be 0 of the polynomial. For example, if you put x is equal to 1, then x plus 5 will become 1 plus 5 is equal to 6. If you put x is equal to 2, then 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. So, that this polynomial expression will give the values according to the values of the variable. There is no fixed value for this x plus 5 as it is an expression. Similarly, x square plus 5x plus 6, this is being a second degree polynomial. If you want to find out zeros of the polynomial, then you will have to factorize this by splitting middle term method or any of our algebraic methods. So, now let us try to understand how to split this middle term by factorization method. Since the product of x and 6 is 6x square and moreover this is positive, this is positive so that positive 6x square and now if you split the 6 into two terms such that the sum of the two factors is going to be positive 5. Therefore, the factors of 6 are 2x as well as 3x. And now, this is positive, so that both the terms are going to be positive. Right? Then, you can split this 5x as plus 2x and plus 3x. Therefore, x square plus instead of 5x, we can write plus 2x 